Hey guys, this is Fu from Foxtech. For quite a long time since the multi-copter and also the aircraft, the fixed wing, were invented. But have you tried to imagine that there's a thing that can combine the advantages of both aircraft into one? So I'm going to introduce the Nimbus modified version, modified VTOL version coming from Foxtech. So it can fly, just hover there like a multi-copter, and also can fly at a high speed like a fixed wing. This is the Nimbus VTOL version. Okay, actually this is the modified version. Uh, let's see from the Nimbus uh, FPV plane itself. This is a quite nicely designed plane uh, with the wingspan of 1.8 meter and everything, since everything is uh, quick detachable, including the nose, the wing, the VTOL. I can just uh, remove the VTOL very easily. It has the two uh, small servos built in the body to control this uh, VTOL thing. Um, actually, VTOL is, uh, the VTOL is very nice design for fixed wing, for like a UAV, for like uh, FP planes. You can get a higher flying speed and also higher efficiency with this one. And actually, I quite like quick detach uh, mechanism. So you can take it around without taking too much space in your car. Okay, so let's uh, talk about the VTOL thing. Okay, um, you may notice uh, for the modified version to make it from a fixed wing to multi-copter to VTOL, we only add a few modifications to tilting servos. Two tilting servos right here. The one tail motor here and the one tail ESC. So that's all. That's what I just added to this plane to make it a VTOL. Very easy, right? Let me tell you how you control how you control the uh, whole aircraft in the multi-copter mode. Uh, actually, we have uh, added actually uh, three mode for the aircraft. So for the multi-copter mode, the two front motor will tilt back and forth to control the yaw. And also we have tail motor, have the three, you know, the three motors to control, uh, for example, the row to control the pitch. So it can stable, can keep it stable in the air. Okay, also when I uh, put this switch up, it will enter a so-called is the FBWA mode. It's like a fixed wing assistant flying mode. Uh, in this mode, you can see the flight controller will try to compensate the move by the aileron, by, by the rudder, by the elevator. And it can keep the whole plane stable at the same altitude maybe, and to keep itself in the air without uh, your control. And also you can add a manual mode, so it will 100% listen to your control in the air. This is the manual mode, I can control it. Very nice. Okay, so you may ask, it's very hard to control a VTOL. How did you uh, do it? Okay, I'm going to show you the core of this uh, VTOL. Let me open this. This is a 3D printed case. But later, I will have the glass fiber one. So don't worry about this one. So the core is the PixSock 2. It's uh, actually 2.1 version. It's the newest generation of a flight controller. And it has many new features, uh, 3M use, uh, 3 redundancy system, or whatever. There are so many features. Uh, but uh, I, I, I think this one is uh, quite reliable. And uh, here is the here GPS, also a big GPS coming with a very high sensitivity GPS model and also the compass model inside. And to, uh, actually, uh, I did some modification uh, here. Uh, I remove all the circuits, all the wires uh, from the original Nimbus plane, and I added a modified version of loading plate for the flight controller. Since the Pixar 2 is higher than normal, I just uh, print uh, like a cover for it. Okay, quite suitable for this plane. Hey, uh, by using this flight controller, it's a very powerful one. You can assign everything you are multi 
in the in the mission planner in the mission planner you can assign some waypoints you can tell it to lift like a beetle and fly like a fixed wing you can do circles in the air you can uh, tell it to go great so it can do mapping uh, talking about mapping uh, there's a few way you can do mapping uh, just uh, leave it off uh, here we have actually um, a payload say like a uh, Payload opening here. I can't open it because it's all glued. Uh, you can open it and mount maybe a zoom camera and maybe a mapping camera, um, maybe other payloads. You can add it here. Because it's a veto, so by adding maybe a, a longer, a higher landing gear, uh, you don't worry about a landing crashing, a landing damage to your equipment. Oh, okay, for this uh, plane, I also added an airspeed sensor, so it can sense the airspeed when it's flying in the uh, fixed, wing, fixed wing mode. So it's quite helpful. And also here, I added a, actually, it's a RANCAM2, a 1080p camcorder, and a transmitter inside. I just leave the antenna out. Because it's little, so I don't, I don't uh, care about the landing damage to the antennas, so it's all okay. It's much safer. Okay, there are a few advantages for the VTOL rather than the fixed wing. For example, when because when you are going to launch this one, originally with the fixed wing mode, you can only launch it with your hand or with a rubber rubber band or something. But uh, in in the VTOL mode, you can just fly it, lift it up with a multi-copter mode. It will go like, go up and land all in the multi-copter mode, vertically. So when it going, going like uh, 50 meters, uh, high enough in the air, you just give it a command and it will change to a fixed wing. So basically, this is just a fixed wing with multi-copter feature, not a multi-copter feature with a fixed wing. Because normally, for the most time, we all want to fly in a fixed wing because in this mode, we save a lot of energy rather than flying in the multi-copter mode. So because, why? Because we have the wings, we have the tails, all causing the wind resistance. So this is a very, very low efficiency when you fly in the multi-copter mode. But it's very, very helpful when you uh, take off and when you land, it's very helpful. Okay. To make it very reasonable aircraft, um, I actually added two motors here with a higher KV value. Why? Because when the propeller spin here, you see here, this part, like 30% of the whole radius is blocked. Uh, I, I can add a extender to make it, to extend the whole structure here. Uh, to make uh, blocking away, but uh, in that case, I'm afraid that will causing the tilting, causing the distorted wing at this part because it's very, very, very big powered motors. So uh, just to leave it there, but I give the motors higher KV value, and also I give the propellers, it's 15 inch propellers, higher pitch value. It's uh, 1565. Um, it's, a bit, it's a good pitch to fly as a fixed wing. So the maximum flying speed can reach, I think it's 30 meters per second, or even faster than that. But for the tail motor, because uh, it's only spin in multi-copter mode, so I give it lower KV value and a bigger propeller to get higher efficiency and also the bigger thrust. So this one is a 16 inch, I can generate like over three kilo or four kilo power with only the motor right here. And also the ESC is mounted here. And this is the only modification, only modification from the appearance. And uh, this is so easy to make the veto, but it's so hard to adjust all the parameters, including the angles to keep, uh, when the motor is still down, just to keep the angles of the two propellers exactly the same. It's very, very important. And also flying in multi-copter mode, just avoid the contact with the propeller tip and also the wing. You can see a scratch right here. It's the one uh, was done in the, the parameter setup. Okay, you may ask why tricopter, why tricopter uh, as the veto. Uh, 
in my opinion, tricopter is the best efficiency uh, copter we can see and we can find on the market because they only use the three propellers, three motors. You can see uh, other traditional vehicles so with uh, you know, four motors. Here, like a quadcopter and a tail motor, quite big, maybe here. So that way will also work, but uh, you know, it's quite simple, reliable, but heavy. I, so far, as I tested, if we have two vehicles here, one Nimbus and one traditional, that one with five motors and this one with three motors, the weight can be like this one is the two kilograms only, and that one is over three kilos. No payload, no battery. So this is a very nice feature I, I prefer because the three motors, high efficiency. And also, you fly in the fixed wing mode, you only have one propeller here, very less wind resistance. Okay, let me open it up so you can see the inner. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. The nose can be quick detached. Here uh, inside, we have a video transmitter and some wires uh, and a battery plug because I am going to use a secondary battery for the FPV system. And also this one is actually an um, airspeed sensor right here uh, with the sensing tube pointing outside. So you can see with the 1.8 wingspan, you can guess how much battery it can load. Okay, um, it's quite big battery actually here. Hey, take it out so you can see. Okay, you can see here, it is the 10,006 S LiPo battery. The weight is 1.3 or 1.4 kilograms. It's quite big considering the size of the whole plane is 1.8 wingspan. And, but it still flies very well in both the multi-copter mode and also the fixed wing, fixed wing mode. Also fly well. Uh, the flight time is, if we only fly mostly in the fixed wing mode, I think the flying time is over one hour is for over one hour. So it can fly like 60, maybe 70 kilometers range. Okay, uh, but uh, just remember that in multi-copter mode, the lifting efficiency is very low. Just uh, try to avoid uh, too much lifting, too much multi-copter time uh, if you want to fly a long range. Okay, so for the VTOL, it can help you to take off and land with a very small area, that just like as big, maybe a bit, little bit bigger than this table. Uh, you can just take off and land. And also with the uh, Pixar 2 uh, flight controller, the data link, and also the mission planner, you can do almost everything you want to do with the multi-copter and also fixed wing. And also the free transition from the fixed wing, fixed wing and the multi-copter can give you a, a lot of fun so no matter what you are going to do with the Nimbus VTOL, no matter you are going to just play it or just use it as the mapping aircraft, it can always help you to achieve your job. Okay, so this is so much about the Nimbus VTOL a modified version by FoxTech. And this is full from FoxTech. And if you like this plane, you can just find it available on our website, the FoxTechFV.com. And you can find three versions, the Nimbus plane itself, the VTO kits and also the VTO RTF. In the RTF version, we added everything you see on the table, the tilting servos, the tilting uh, motors, the tail motor, the tail EIC, and everything you see including this radio and also the data link flight control, everything you need to fly it as a beautiful VTO. I included them all and also include maybe a UHF range extender so you can fly a very long range. Okay, so far about the Inbus modified version. Uh, just uh, like always, have a nice day guys and uh, see you in next video. Bye.